Hey everybody, Hank Shreve here. Hope everyone's doing well. So I get asked a lot about what kind of microphones and what kind of amplifiers I like to use for my harmonica setup. So what I thought I would do today is just go over all of that. So what I'd like to do is show you what I like to use while I'm in the studio and also what I like to use when I'm on the road and traveling. So I'm going to make a couple of quick adjustments and I'll get right to the good stuff. Thanks for watching. All right, so first up what we have, this is the setup I like to use when I'm traveling or when I'm on the road. So this is a, Q, a Roland Cube 80GX, it might be GX80, I'm not sure. I'm terrible with names, please forgive me. <laughs> but this is the amp that I like to use. It's got all the effects that I need right on it. And I, I play it right through the clean channel too. I don't even use the, the lead channel that has all the amp models. I just go right into the clean channel. And you probably also notice I have this little doohickey down here. So this is uh, made by ART, which stands for Applied Research and Technology. And it's a tube preamp, so it's got one single 12AX7 in it. And it's cool because it warms up your signal a little bit, gives you a little bit of natural compression. And you can also dial in a little bit more extra distortion if you need. So it's really handy. Um, it's got some other features on it too, which I'll get to in a second, but so I've got my microphone, which is This guy right here. This is an ecstatic JT 30 body But it has a human element inside of it. So it's the same element that's in the bullet teeny and uh, a lot of those microphones by Greg human of blows me away productions. So Anyway, yeah, so and I'm using of course Honer crossover in the key of G. Thank you Honer. Love you and here we go. So here's what the amp sounds like with this turned down all the way. So it's not bad, but it's definitely clean. So if I want to dirty that up a little bit, I'm going to bump up the input here. I have the output wide open, so that's up all the way. So I'm going to turn the input up to about eh, 12 o'clock, straight up. That's pretty much what I use, just because I get a lot of headroom, not only out of the amp itself, but I also get a lot of headroom out of here, too. So, um, that's that. So, now what I'd like to do is I'm going to make another a quick adjustment, and I'm going to show you what I like to use when I'm in the studio. All right, be right back. All right, we're back. So, now, as promised, this is the setup I use when I'm in the studio and I'm recording. And I use this same exact setup on my last record, which is called Trouble by the Hank Street Band, and I also have used it on various other recording sessions too. So the idea is that I get the nice clean sound with a tiny bit of dirt out of this amp. I also get the volume I need, and I get a nice old school, gritty, dirty Chicago type sound out of the, the, the tube amp. So anyway, here they are paired together. <laughs> everything that I need. Like I say, I got the nice kind of clean fat sound out of here, but I've now I've got a nice kind of nastiness. So when I put them both together, they really sound good. So just for kicks, here's what the tube, tube amp sounds like by itself. <laughs> really honky, kind of on the Papa Lightfoot kind of sound. So I'm going to turn that one down, and then we're going to go to the cube all by itself once more so you can hear it. Yeah, and as you can hear too, it's like I mentioned,
mentioned earlier, it's got all the effects on it. I've got just a touch of delay, and it's got two different kinds of delay. It's got warm and clear, and I'm using the warm because that makes the repeat sounds um, not as bright. So it kind of gives you more of what you would find in like an analog delay. So, And I've got that, you can see the flashing light, it's a tap tempo. <laughs> So I'm doing it just kind of boom boom like that so it gives me just a touch of slap back. <laughs> so it sounds totally fine by itself just like the other one. But when you put them both together, magic happens. <laughs> chromatic too because it really sounds nice for chromatic also. I'm using a Honer CX-12. Once again, thank you Honer. I like to use on occasion. I plan on doing separate videos of these too. So I love like, the Bullet Teeny. It's a really good one. Sounds very similar to the JT30 that I'm using, except it's a tiny bit dirtier because it's a smaller shell, so I'm able to get closer to the element, which causes it to distort a little quicker. So that's why I, I like them both. They're both kind of cool. And I also use a Shure Spheridyne. And this is the PE53, by the way. It's got the cast on the bottom there. But this is a cool kind of, a, it's, a, it's a dynamic mic, but it's got some character, uh, characteristics uh, like a, a crystal microphone does. So, pretty cool. Anyway, one more quick adjustment and we'll be back. So there you have it. So those are the two setups that I use most commonly. I also have a bunch of other amps and microphones that I love to use. So keep checking back here. I'll probably, I'll be doing some more videos on that kind of stuff. I also plan on doing a video on uh, the settings that I like to use for these amps and how to dial, how I like to dial them in and also talk to you more about the different effects that I like to use and how I go about that. So in the meantime, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our subscribers. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing. If you haven't done that yet, please do so. Because, like I say, I plan um, just getting all these new subscribers lately has been really inspiring for me to put out new content for you all. So I plan on doing that. In the meantime, you all take care. Uh, be good to one another. And we'll see you soon. Bye.